my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and I'm joined with Mark Olroyd from Suddenly Comics, Man Overseas, and uh, we are going to talk about the hottest Silver Age comics of the week. Should be a pretty interesting list. Only one spider that Mark has to kill, but other than that, <laughs> it should be a great list. I had about 80% of the comics I showed with Spider-Man anyway. Yeah, yeah, last week was spider heavy. <laughs> Very lots of spiders. This week's not so much. Okay. So we're going to start out with a cool one. Yeah, very cool. Do you, uh, do you know what this is? Well, um, I this says Eerie number one on it. But... It's IW Publishing, uh, right. which basically they would do reprints. Okay. Um, but this is a classic cover. Yeah, nice it's cover. It's one that you. E uh, even um, um, Bruce Tim did an homage to it. It's just a very classic cover. So this one usually goes for a fair amount of money, actually, even though it's a reprint of a reprint, actually. But it doesn't have a lot of information on the CGC label, does it? No. No, it's just IW Publishing. So I, I think I've mentioned them before to you, uh, where IW, basically, what they did was uh they um they bought all the publish the the publishers equipment like the the all the stuff that they used to make the comics yeah but they didn't buy the rights to print those comics okay but right. then they went ahead anyways and printed the, <laughs> whatever they wanted <laughs> um so so that that's what this is this is a reprint unauthorized reprint and actually iw ran ran for a long time it ran from uh, the Golden Age into the Silver Age. Okay. Why did nobody sue them? Uh, because the companies that they basically were stealing the material from, uh, in terms of publishing, uh, they were all out of business. Oh, okay. So yeah. nobody around to sue, so you can get away with whatever you want. But isn't it a great cover? Yes. I mean, it's got uh, black latex dress with a bubble, <laughs> with a bubble on her head what what what's not to like and then you got um, a red, nice red monster with stars in his eyes yeah it's a great mm -hmm. cover yeah very good um, that's like that very sort of 1950s science fiction very much so uh, right and this cell for just kind of yeah, uh, th that to me is a good price. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the seller got a good price. Uh, usually these go for around the 100 ish mark. Okay, in this well, grade. It's the first one that sold. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you'd have to check the other grades to okay. see. Like, There's only 14 of these on the census. Yeah. Um, it's a fa They're fairly hard to get, actually, these ones. Well, so. There's virtually none of these. Um, this is very rare. Yeah, they're interesting. Uh, you know, they're um, well. That that sale that sale in the last ten years. What was the what was the sale for the nine uh, eight zero? Well, it was ten years ago. Um, Eight hundred and thirteen ten years ago. Yeah. Probably the census at that time was almost like one or two on the census yeah, or something. Probably, yes. I um, mean, that's still the highest graded, that 9.4. Um, yeah. But it hasn't sold for... The next highest graded is a two. So this 6A actually is the fifth highest, fourth highest graded comic. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, think these... I, think, I think that's a bit of a bargain. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Um, usually, um, it's kind of like the like the um, the Disney comics or like the cartoon comics. They're a little bit more plentiful at low grade. They're less plentiful at high grade, right? You know, where I mean that's standard, anyways. But but <laughs> yes. but um, when I say more plentiful, I mean there's usually you know you can usually find it in low grade. Okay, it's and really nobody, rare to find it in high grade to grade the low grade ones well yeah so, so people don't even bother getting them well, graded few people have but not many right. yeah okay very nice so yeah 
on. But, um, so, Wally, so, yeah, just I wonder, I like it. The artist is Wally Wood. Yeah, it's Wally Wood. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. It's a, it's a reprinted cover. Yeah. So, so this cover, Wally, the same cover was used. Right. So what was the original? I think it was Space Adventures. Okay. Was the original one that was used for. Yeah. So it's a great cover. It's yeah. a classic Golden Age cover. Like that one. Um, now, here we go. This is more. not not the first appearance of Blue Beetle, but it is the first appearance no. of The Question. The Question. And do you know who The Question is in terms of... Um, uh, in yes, terms of, Rorschach. Um, Rorschach, yes. Uh, well, it... It's the inspiration for Rorschach, yes. yes. So, yes. So, originally, when Alan Moore wrote Watchmen, he based it on the Charlton characters. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, when, because DC said he, they read the Watchmen, they go, oh, no, you can't do that. We'll never be able to use these characters again. So, <laughs> they, <laughs> they had to swap them all out. So, yes, uh, Rorschach was originally the question. Yeah, so this is like kind of a cool book for that extra. It's a very cool book. Yeah, I mean, the question's not a bad character either. No. I think so um, you got a cool character for his appearance plus a cool connection to the Watchmen. So, and this is a minor pedigree. It's not really a pedigree. It's like, um, I'm not even sure. They always do this weird thing where it's like from the collection of blah. Roger Hill it's collection. Like, Roger Hill collection. He, I guess, Roger Hill collected a lot of horror related okay. titles. Yeah. Okay. I have like a couple from his collection actually oh, now. Okay. Right. And this is a Dick I think, Steve Ditko cover. Yeah. Um, from what I've seen in terms of the Roger Hill, um, the last, I'd say, four or five auctions, like, or maybe, yeah, maybe the last couple of months, they've been selling off his collection. Oh, okay. So I've been seeing like literally dozens of books each week from his collection on Heritage. Large collection. Okay. Right. Now then, this sold for 192 That sounds a nice price as well. I'd, I'd, these are type of ones I'd pick up if I saw these. That's not. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like a bad price. I'm not sure how that compares. I, I really, I forgot how much I paid for my copy, but this seems like a nice grade, actually. Oh, the the really shelf things, they don't. Yeah, that's what I thought. It Somebody's seems, got to steal all of this. Somebody... The last one of these sold in June for just under 400. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, the last few sales of this have all been 400. Price. Yeah, so this one, um, <laughs> I didn't realize it was that much of a steal, but wow, that is a huge steal. Um, I think people just weren't paying attention. Like that happens too, right? Yeah. Because this one has got a pretty heritage. flat, pretty flat um, trend line. It's not like there's any spikes or like like major spikes. It's pretty flat. Yeah. But these, uh, this is considered a high grade for Sherlton. Uh, their 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 books are notoriously. Yeah, they are uh, let's count only 585 for a number yeah and but a very cool book yeah i like it um so. Wait. That. right okay very interesting let's just see how many what's, what's the grade split on this yeah, you're right. Yeah, you'd expect it to be pretty hard to find in the high grades. Yeah. yeah there's a couple of nine this nine nine eight. Yeah. Um yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's a cool one. Right. Third one. Okay, nice uh, cap here. Yeah. And this is the first appearance of um Madam Hydra. So, 
I think it's a Mary Severin cover too. A Marie Marie Severin. I always I always call her no, Mary. It's Stranko. Oh, it's Stranko. Sorry, I'm mistaken. Oh yes, it is Stranko. The connection to Marie Severin or Mary, yeah, Marie Severin is. Um, I think this is the face. If you look at the face, so this is Captain America 110. Uh, if you look at the face of this book on um, the Hulk, I think that was the face that he was originally going to draw on the annual where he's like holding up his own name. Oh, right. And then they, they, then they had uh, Marie Severin redo the face. Okay? Because okay. they thought, oh, it looked like uh, Hulk was too angry or too scary. I like so the they, Hulk here. Yeah, so this is a classic uh, Stranko Hulk face. Yeah, where he's actually the angry, angry Hulk. Yes. Very good. I've got this. Nice comic. Yeah, very cool. What grade was it? Oh, high grade. Very nice. Yeah, that's why I, it's on the list. I thought, wow, that's a really high grade. Seems like a little you... bit undervalued to me, but we'll yeah, see. Yeah, for a 9 out, it must be, must be low. Yeah, okay. No, it's way down here. Oh, dear. Yeah. Right. It's down, right down here somewhere. So, so what the, was the last sale? The last one of these sold at 440, and this just sold. So wow. Wow. Somebody got a major steal on this one too. Wow. Absolutely major steal here. See, that, uh, I think is... that's actually, is that below pre-COVID? Uh, yes. Wow. <clears throat> wow. That is that is a major steal. But I mean, uh, if you look at the trend line on this one. This peaks at 800 and somebody's just bought it for 280. Yeah, I mean, this, if you look at the trend line, and it's like, dude, it's kind of like a uh, death. <laughs> death yeah, it's, um, going it's, down. Uh, yes, you wouldn't be investing in this if it was a stock. But I think the reason for that was um, Madam Hydra was a character that, you know, uh, isn't that played by um, the girl that's on Seinfeld? My, no, 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 that's, that's somebody else. Um, no, that's somebody else. That's somebody Contessa, else. Contessa, whatever. <laughs> You test so, blah, 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 blah. You know, uh, something or other. De yeah, Fontaine. yeah. Yeah, De Fontaine, yeah. Um, but I thought Madame Hydra was supposed to be in it, but then wasn't. Something like that. I forgot what the, the reasoning was. I know there was, like, some speculation around her. And that's maybe why there was that massive spike. And then it's just correcting. I mean, massive, the massive spike was in COVID. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. But everything was being everything was being speculated on yeah, back then, yeah, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm mean, still I mean, what's a pretty good price for this because that's that's lower than pre-COVID. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of sad to see it drop that much. But uh, what's the census on this one? Two thousand one hundred eighteen. The typical marble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe so, yeah. a bit lower. I mean, it's two thousands, quite low for a Marvel. Yeah, but this is a mid-run book, right? Um, well, issue ten, isn't it? Because it's restarted at a hundred. A hundred, yeah. So, yeah, but um, I, I always thought this was a classic uh, cover, and uh, right. also it's a key key cover. first appearance as well. Yeah. Is there any other keys to it, or is it just just that? Because it looks like there's some long description there. That's why I was going by that. So this might be the good time to buy this book. Because if it's going for... It becomes Viper. Oh, you know what? Um, it has been confirmed, by the way, uh, that the next Captain America movie... Is gonna the main main bad guys are the Serpent Society. Okay, well she's she's in that. Yeah. So why is it coming down then? Well, um, so there were test screenings of that movie, <laughs> and uh, they were very uh, bad <laughs> to say it the best. But I mean the 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 
the trailer looks good. Uh, but uh, yeah, the 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 movie was not well received at, in the test screenings. Okay. Well, they're still launching. They're still putting it out there, aren't they? Yeah, maybe they've you know they've done their tweaks or whatever it is that they do. Yeah, but whenever um, they do, if they, if they have to do that, it's not a good sign, is it? It usually doesn't work. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's going to crash and burn probably. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, Marvel will get its act together someday. Um, okay, well, so uh, well, they're, they're, oh, by the way, did you bring the Russo brothers back? Um, which yeah, I, that's a good sign. Uh, uh, which, I <laughs> which movies did they do? They did the uh, Avengers Endgame. Oh, okay. And that, the one, yeah. and, and the Infinity, yeah, the one you, the, your your favorite superhero. My movie. two favorite Marvels. Um, so yeah. So yeah, yeah, I mean, that's. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> And they're getting them to do the Doom movie uh, with Robert Downey Jr. So, yeah, I think it's all good news. I saw the trailer for that, or the trailer that they kind of showed at the San Diego Comic-Con. Oh, the San Diego Comic-Con, Comic -Con, yeah. yeah. It looked interesting. I mean, they're going really retro style. Yeah. Like very 60s. Yeah. Sissy, sissy, 60s futuristic, I guess, is kind of a weird way to say it, but that's the what... Nonsense that's going on on YouTube with people who can't cope with Robert Downey Jr. playing more than one character. I mean, for God's sake, these are actors. What do you think happened to <laughs> You're only allowed to play one role, and that's like, it. He played King Lear, he played Richard III, he played Romeo, he played Hamlet. They didn't go, oh, this is confusing, he's got the same place, the same face, you know... Sir Ian McKellen played. So that is because they are actors. You know, no. these people are no. going, oh, how can we have the same person with the same face playing Doctor Doom and I'm at for No, God's no, no. Sake. Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. What is this actor thing you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And he died. He died. He shouldn't even be exactly. alive. So how can he how can he how can he be Doctor Doom? Oh my god. <laughs> oh well the great actors play many many parts you know mm -hmm. for that's sake yeah Ian McKellen Gandalf and Magneto and Widow Twanky and Hamlet and King Lear <laughs> yeah well you know the thing is I think it's a bit of a desperate move for Marvel you know everyone loves Robert Downey Jr and let's let's well that's because he's a great, he... that's because he's a great actor yeah um you know the funny thing is he actually originally auditioned before he did iron man he uh, auditioned for dr doom and they rejected him okay <laughs> i didn't know that well he, he's obviously uh revisited their applications. <laughs> yeah so this might bode well though i mean obviously he wants to play that role yeah yeah oh no i think he'll be great um all right so what's the next book <laughs> getting it back to the actual oh we've done that the next book oh uh, a bit of a contrast it's the yeah I, I like to have a bit of variety so well, yeah we saw that last week alan right <laughs> lots of variety last week yeah all of it um, was spider-man right so here yeah. we go this is nice this is a jetsons I don't think there's anything special about issue 18 other than it's a file. No. Card. Again, this is what I was talking about. These cartoon books that are in super, super high grade. Yeah. Like this is a 9.6. Yeah. It's the I file mean, this card. is a, this is something that you're handing to a kid and for it to remain a 9.6 is pretty impressive. Yeah. It's usually like file copies at this high grade. It's quite a nice cover, actually. The, the little kid has yeah. made a satellite out of his olive. <laughs> yeah, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I quite like that. Is it a file copy? Does it say? Sorry. Yeah. Uh three hundred and sixty dollars. There you go. But was it a file copy, do you know? Or yeah, yes, it said file copy on it. Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah, usually they are at that high grade. Because that's <laughs> the only way they would survive at that point. Oh wow, this is a record. No, it's not quite. The one before sold for seven dollars more. Oh, oh well. I mean, seven dollars off the record, Alan. Okay, so that's way down, is what you're saying. It's just, this is just, no. this book has become worthless. <laughs> it's according promising. to Mark. 
<laughs> <laughs> so whenever I see that kind of like very close stale after stale, that to me just means that it's confirming that new high price, that new ceiling. Yeah, yeah. I like I like to talk about ceilings. That's a new term that I created. Um, you know, there's floors. Everyone always talks about the floor, but there's also a ceiling. And I feel like this is the new ceiling. Makes yeah, sense? Ceiling. Right. Well, <laughs> if we ever see another one, we'll be able to test your theory. Mind you, this yeah. has sold twice in the last um in the last yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I imagine it's pretty rare. There are six that of them, Alan. Six of them. You see, that's that's the number of file copies that they would have, right? Yeah, yeah. and there's only 20. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those books that if you wanted to find it in low grade, you could probably find it Yeah, pretty easily. Uh, finding it in that ultra high grade, almost impossible. Yeah. Right. But um, yeah, so 20 on the census, probably all of those are higher grades. Okay. Well, nice comic. I like that one. Right. Yeah, it's uh, a fun one. Next is one. Is that five? No, this is five. Okay, this is the fifth one. Okay, so this one I thought was interesting. I've always seen this one. I've never picked it up. Actually, it's a book that I should have picked up. I have this. Uh, or, well, I have all the brave and the bolds apart from a few. Um, but, but this is a. Uh, the second appearance, the second uh, appearance it's Brave and the yeah. Bold 29, which yeah. is the second appearance of the Justice League. Yeah, because the first the is 28. Yeah. And it's actually, I actually think this would have maybe been a better cover. What, than Starro? Than Starro, yeah. I actually How dare you like say, what's, what's a scandalous thing to say? <laughs> a scandalous thing. But I, I kind of like this cover, and you know, it's got a robot cover. It's you know, they're all in action. You know, it's they're really all in cool. action on twenty eight. But this one actually, the action's even better. Like you get a sense of Flash moving really fast. Wonder Woman's kind of swooping in with her lasso. You know, yeah, lasso. We're a bit, it's, a, it's a closer up shot than the Starro one, where we're a bit further yeah, because Starro they're all so using big. their powers too, which is really cool. It'd be really cool if Aquaman was like throwing fish at the moment. I was going to say, bit. Aquaman hitting him with a hammer isn't really using his powers, is it? That's Thor. Well, that was the only one that I was like, okay, well, okay, it is Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> he should throw fish at it. I think that'd be cool. Yes. Um, right. Yeah. Nice, nice comic though. Uh, this is quite a pricey comic, I know, because I've got it and uh, keep an eye on this one. Uh, uh 432 for a five five uh, that's probably reasonable i'd have thought Ooh. let's see right let's have a look oh that is that is down yeah i would have thought so actually yeah, four three two. Yeah, that's um. Yeah, that's this book. And what's the uh, what was the last sale? Well, that was six six five. Oh wow! This so is the done. third it, one. A... This is the third one out of five here, Alan. Where somebody has got a steal at Heritage. Is it a steal, or is the market kind of in rough shape? Um, market is, but well, yeah, it's both. Yeah. So, um, what? was the pre-covid price on this it looks like it had a pretty steady line and then it went kind of all over the place um pre-covid that's a 529 pre-covid so this is well below pre-covid even yeah wow not good and that's a dc book which really didn't get the spike uh, that didn't, normal didn't books really. mm, i presume that's yeah it did get a bit of a covid blip here um wow I, I bet you the census is really low too yeah it's not that like a, under a thousand probably oh yeah 600 yeah uh, that was my guess just because um yeah. uh, it's just a book that um is mid-run again like sort of you know early but mid-run yeah um it's not 28 which is the big key 
Correct. Um, so yeah, I. That's sad. <laughs> Only six hundred. I mean, that's Somebody, pretty, somebody's pretty got a, somebody's got a bargain on that. That'll come yeah. back. Yeah. That'll come. Hopefully, back. that comes back. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Well, well. So great. That's. I thought that was a good teaser list. Lost lots of variety. Yeah. Um, there's some pretty cool books on your list as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you were interested, people that are watching this and you want to see some cool books, go over to Mark's channel. The link is in the description. Just go over there and check them out because there's some pretty cool things on this list. So um, thanks yeah, again, Mark. We've only got one spider this week. Only one spider. I always, I you know, if I see it, I always have to put that book. It's a certain book that I have to put on the list. Yeah. I, it's your favorite. So Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Alan. And I figure if we do this enough, you'll be brainwashed and you'll buy like, a, you know, you'll have a whole short box filled with uh, with that book. Well, I wish I had a whole short box filled with that book. <laughs> and all would, in nine sixes, I would right? quickly sell them all <laughs> and buy some decent comics. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.